Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, I want to speak in support of Ms. Sewell's amendment. Um, this is just an incredibly important issue as um, the Department of Labor said that there were a record six million jobs open nationally this summer, this past summer. Um, six million jobs that were open. Um, according to a recent study by a AD ADP, they found that 80% of employers believe their top management challenges stem from a shortage of skilled workers. Um, this has to be a priority. And when we look at things in this bill um, that, you know, take away benefits from employers for their ability to pay tuition, that um, take away the ability to deduct student loan costs, that really take away um, from efforts for people to seek education. Um, we should be doing everything we can to make sure that we're supporting programs for apprenticeships, um, to make sure we can help fill these jobs that are available across the country. So um, I support Ms. Sewell's amendment. I think that we need to have more of our tax code focused on human capital. And um, so I applaud it, and I just want to yield the remainder of my time to Ms. Sewell. 